Thank you so much, Father. Praise God. Now, if you got your Bibles, Brenda's mentioned several things already this morning. Thank God for it. But there's something here we'll look at, and we'll, we may go somewhere else. We'll see. But uh, the book of James, chapter 1. Praise God. Now, Brenda was talking about something. Everything in our life, and surely it is the truth, when it comes to God, is a honor issue. It's a relationship issue. Too many times I believe people are just have a relationship with a church or a church body, and that's seemingly about far as it may go. But we need a real relationship with God the Father. Amen. And that's where our lives really begin to change. Our lives will begin to take a turn in the way that uh, God wants us to go. Praise God. Amen. It's like being married to somebody but, but never spend no time with them. Just never there. Never, never talk to them. Never fellowship. Now you know that'll make the difference. Right? And then when you begin to fellowship with them and talk to them you begin to you begin to commune with one another and you begin to know them. You begin to know what they like, what they don't like. And, and a lot of times I believe, I think that's the problem, that we're, we're not fellowshipping with the Father. And if you don't fellowship with him, how in this world will you know him? I don't want somebody to just tell me. I mean, thank God that's part of it. You know, somebody tell us about the Father my God, don't we want to know him? Right? Don't we want to know him personally? I do. And I do, praise God. But I want to know him more. Now, <coughs> excuse me. Brenda's talking about holiness. People have got an ideal that holiness, they've got the wrong ideal. They think holiness is, well, I don't do what the world does. They think mostly that's the, that would be the definition of holiness. I don't do what the world does. <laughs> the curse of the law. Find out all about that and what he has redeemed us to, what we have become. Now we are the righteousness of God in him, in him. Everything now is in and through him, by him. <laughs> But holiness is knowing God. And because of knowing Him, you don't do the things that displeases Him. Praise God. Not for the sake of being holy. Not for the sake of, I don't do, the, do it like the world does it. And, uh, but no, it's because... I'm fellowshipping with him. I know him. Brother Hagin said one time, appreciate them great men of God that's done such a work here on this earth. He said he's in a little church uh, one time. Well, I don't know how little it was, but he's in a church one time. He's in a holiness church. And now I'm not saying this about the holiness people, but just as an example. And they were saying, you know, well, we don't do what the world does and, and we don't do this and we don't do that. And they think, they was thinking, well, you know, that's what makes him holy. Well, Brother Hagin, you'd have to know Brother Hagin. I guess maybe some of you watch and listen do. Uh, he would never purposely get up and say anything against anything. He just done what God wanted him to do, in my opinion. But he had to get, they invited him to preach, and anyway, he was there, I guess maybe the service before or whatever. But the next morning, he got up to preach, and he said the Spirit of God hit him. Right down all, off of that podium, he came, and right down that aisle, <laughs> he said, this is the worldliest church. He said, this is the most worldly church I've ever preached in in my life. Now, this was the Spirit of God doing it. It wasn't Brother Hagin. He wasn't done it. And they'll say, let me tell you something, God knows all about you. And when God reads your mail, I guess it's read. 
So he went right down that aisle just to preach, and this is the most worldliest church I've ever been in in my life. He said, you say you don't do what the world does. He said, you do exactly what the world does. He said, you eat like the world does. You sleep like the world does. You do this, this type of thing like the world does. He said, you do the same thing. He said, you're, see, they thought that holiness was not doing these things. No, that's not holiness.